Hey everyone, uh, my name is Sean Cecil from the Oculus Institute and today we're doing the last video in the career freedom pyramid, which is thriving. Okay, so when we talk about thriving, um, we, you know, we, we previously we've talked about people who are at the bottom struggling. We've talked about people who are, you know, in, in the surviving category, right? Now we've covered most of humanity. Then we talked about the people who are striving. Now we're talking about the people at the very top of the pyramid. It's a very small group of people who are truly, truly thriving. So when you talk about people who are thriving, right, financially, they're in a position of either financial freedom or financial abundance, which means either they have more than enough money for their needs and they have the ability to earn more money whenever they feel like it, or they're at a place of financial abundance where they have so much money that it doesn't even, it doesn't even affect them in most of their decisions, right? Um, where their time is disconnected from their money, right? Where they have wealth and it's coming in, where they could just stop working, doesn't matter, right? That's level of financial abundance. In terms of their career fulfillment, you know, they're either in what I would call a calling, which is something that they could happily do until they retire, or what I would call a destiny, which is something that they could do, they, they, they love it so much, they don't even want to retire. So that, that, that's like me with Oculus, right? I never intend to retire from this work. I love coaching, I love teaching, I view it as fun. I actually had somebody ask me the other day, how was I able to book a call with you on a Saturday? I'm like, because coaching calls are fun. Like I view this as play, <laughs> right? right? So like I have no intention of retiring, um, right? And like that's, that's the level that, that you wanna to get to in career fulfillment. And then internally, they're either in a unified mindset where you know, they, they've done a lot of internal work, you know, they can dedicate themselves to any given challenge in their lives and make progress on it, or even farther in what I call an unshakable mindset where even life's catastrophes don't face them right? Where they can make a commitment now about something they're going to do 40 years later and keep it because they know themselves that fucking well, right? That's unshakable, right? And that's a, that's a very high level, um, you know, even to be at, at, you know, a unified calling um, and financial freedom is, you know, you're really winning, right? You're doing great. So what, what animates somebody who's at this level is enthusiasm, right? We talked about struggling was anxiety and surviving was obedience and striving was drive, right? Here, when you're thriving, you don't have to push yourself for the drive because you've got enthusiasm, right? You've got a love for life. You've got a zest for life. This is what you hear. You're having fun. Your life is awesome, right? So what do you do? Well, if you're the kind of person who's gotten to the point where you're thriving, you don't just stop because that's not in your nature. You did not get here by being that person. If you were complacent, you would still be down in the striving. Right? So you're not complacent. So let's, let's look at what are the potential areas for growth here. Um, well, one is if you're in financial freedom, you can move to financial abundance. And the key to that is you wanna learn how to disconnect time for money. You wanna learn how to create some kind of value that's scalable where the amount of money that you get is not dependent upon the amount of time that you put in. Right? You're no longer charging by the hour and this kind of stuff. Because someone who's in financial freedom, they may you know, charge $250 an hour and be able to work whenever they want, great, but you're still capped because you only have a limited number of hours, right? Whereas moving to financial abundance, you know, whether that be because of investments or because, you know, you have your own company or any of these kinds of things, right? You're now no longer bound by that and you can have all the money and all the time. <laughs> um, and the second area is if you look at your career fulfillment, right? Let's say you're in something that's a calling. You're in something where you could happily do it until you retire, but you're still planning to retire. What do you want to do after you retire? And how can you make that your career now? Why wait, right? Figure out what that is, right? And don't, you know, don't just go sit on the porch, figure out something that's really cool and then start doing that now, right? Let's upgrade. Let's do something that's bringing you that extra enthusiasm so much so that you will never want to stop doing it, right? And then finally, internally, let's say you're in Unified, right? Generally, people who are in Unified, they've done a lot of personal development work. They've normally worked with some pretty good coaches, right? They've grown a lot right? But how can you go deeper? How can you reach, you know, those levels of, of mysticism and enlightenment and, 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 and pure, unfazable, you know, spiritual solidity and power, right? How do you go there? And the way you go there is you go there by going deeper into the esoteric work, right? I talked before about, you know, this, this aspect where you, you know, the esoteric work, you start to see yourself as, you know, a soul piloting a human, as you go deeper into the esoteric work, you start to see that even the concept of being your own separate soul, separate from the universe is in fact kind of an illusion. Um, I like to use the tide pool analogy. So like you have an ocean, 
right? And that's this whole ocean of consciousness and this live stream. And you have these tide pools and each tide pool is kind of like its own separate thing. Like each soul is its own little tide pool. It's kind of separate, but it's really part of the ocean. And the more you fence it off and make it separate with rocks, it gets stagnant and, and dries up. But as long as it can flow with the ocean, it's healthy. And you know, you got all kinds of unique little ecosystems there that maybe don't exist in the big ocean, right? And kind of, you know, that, that's, a, that's a very mysticism kind of thing to go into, right? Getting clear on, you know, what we really know and don't know. A lot of people have a lot of certainty about a lot of things. In reality, there's only one thing we can know for sure, which is that we, I exist as a conscious entity having a particular subjective experience right now. Everything else is guess. I could be in the matrix, I have no idea, right? Other people could be famous in my imagination, I have no clue, right? Like, you know, and, and that, that kind of stuff like really screws with people's heads, but like that's where, you know, if you don't wanna get shaken, then you can't have vulnerabilities where you have certainties that aren't certain, right? Being okay with death, right? I'm, I'm cool to die, right? Um, and I wouldn't even say that I'm, I'm fully in the unshakable category. I would say I'm pretty close, right? But you know, one of the things is I'm not afraid to die. Right? And that's a big thing because if you're not afraid to die, then most other things, you know, can't really scare you, <laughs> right? So like these are the kinds of really, really deep esoteric work that goes in to go from unified to unshakable. So if you're thriving and you're sitting here watching this video, there must be something that you're looking for, right? I don't know what it is, but um, especially if you're in this category, I would really love to speak with you. I'd really love to hear what it is you're trying to create in your life. Um, just, just for the sake of, of making a connection and, and hearing what you have to say. So if you want, feel free to shoot me an email at sean at oculusinstitute.com. That's S-E-A-N at oculusinstitute.com. I would love to chat. Um, and if you're somewhere else on the, on the pyramid, also, again, you know, feel free to reach out and I will, you know, of course, give you the directions that I've given in the previous videos of how you can move forward in those various aspects and point you towards the right tools, whether they be mine or someone else's. So I wish you all the best and I hope you have enjoyed this four part series on the pyramid of career freedom. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's something that resonated with you, maybe a new connection that you made or, or some information that shifted your perspective, if you found value here, then I wanna give you one last gift. So I've put together a free diagnostic that I call a checkup with the career doctor. Short list of questions, and as you answer them, it's gonna give you a readout of where you stand on the important metrics of career fulfillment, right? How happy are you with your job and how good a fit is it? right? Financial success, which we all know, and then internal alignment, which is your level of inner peace and the inner resources that you have to bring to creating the life that you want. Additionally, it's also going to show you which areas you can improve on to, to get those metrics moving in the right direction, as well as how can we at the Oculus Institute help you make progress. So it's totally free, 100%. All you have to do is just go to www.oculusinstitute.com slash purpose quiz, right? Um, no spaces, no dashes, just oculusinstitute.com. That's O-C-U-L-U-S-I-N-S-T-I-T-U-T-E.com slash purpose quiz. Um, and you can take it totally for free. Uh, you'll get a free report sent to you. And then at the end, it will give you some next steps of what you can do to reach out so that we can help you create the career of your